Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. Man, oh man. This is, um, this is either going to be really good or really bad. What's up, guys, and welcome back to F1 2020. We have one of the most exciting, one of the most iconic locations on the schedule of this year. It's going to be a good one. Like, uh, we're, we're really going to grind this out. I'm going to take practice super seriously. I'm going to try to set the best time we possibly can in quali. And, uh, I mean... Your spot on the grid here matters so much. There's there's a little bit of passing, but it's it's not like normal. You're you're pretty locked in. There's there's not a lot of passing to be had here. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out. Hopefully we can do pretty well. Hopefully we can can bring home the bacon for the the guys and gals here of Cooper Motors. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So obviously we got to set all of our business end of things in line before we get to the racetrack. So let's go ahead and check this out. It looks like we've got uh, power department focus, reaction timing for a second driver, power team building, sponsor advertisements, sponsor in-depth factory tour. Ooh, that's gonna give us 500 team acclaim. Whoo! Or do we wanna use the drivers because then we get 250 and we get 20K. That's not a bad idea either. Or aerodynamics equipment upgrade. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to go for that. That's going to be pretty good. I'm going to say let's do the drivers. And then for the last two, I'm going to do, I mean, power team building doesn't really matter to me. It's really the, the last best thing there. Honestly, I a, cu a couple races from now when his contract's up, I, I think we're going to, we're going to let our teammate go. We honestly kind of need to start saving up some money to try to get, to try to get somebody new. But yeah, it's, it's, he's. He's struggling. There's there's no doubt about that. So that looks pretty good to me. I like that setup. Now, one thing that we definitely should do is do some sort of an upgrade here. So we've got $2.45 million, which is pretty solid. You guys know we've been focusing on aero. I think I want to get at least all of the upgrades for aero down. And then we'll probably check out chassis afterwards. I think aero and chassis are going to be our two, our two biggest things. So I'm thinking speed of upgrades is good. I also feel like the earlier we do the resource points upgrade, the better it's going to be. It's so like right now we get 20 resource points per week from Arrow. If we spend 2 million, we're going to be getting 60 per week. So an additional 40. Obviously, that doesn't sound like a lot at first, but over time, that's going to add up. I kind of want my newer parts first, though. I'm going to do the, the, the build time, and then I'm going to do the resource point generation It'll all work out. It's it's going to be fine. So that's going to be delivered on the 16th of May. So we've got that there. We've got $400,000 left. One thing I was looking at, so I promise you guys, I don't think we're going to do it today just because, like, it's Monaco. So I kind of want the, the episode to focus on Monaco. I do intend to customize our, uh, our, our racing suit here. Obviously, we have this ugly bright red suit you could customize the suit you could customize the helmet you could do all kinds of stuff so i'm thinking we're going to check this out in the next episode we'll spend some time on it and try to get uh, try to get something pretty cool that actually matches our colors but um i i also noticed that if you go into where is it so really i i think this feature is mainly for like career mode when you're going to be bouncing around teams but this would actually help us out quite a bit so you guys can see we can level up quicker, which I'm not worried about that. We can reduce our engine wear by 10% and you can upgrade it three times. So maybe up to 30% or more. I'm not sure what increments it jumps up at. Media coaching, I feel like we do fine answering our questions. But then look at this. Resource point income boosted by 10%. That's actually pretty good. Now you guys know we kind of had a, a little bit of a, a sketchy moment in the last episode. Our engine's not looking so hot. So I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking, I mean, 230K is not, is not a lot. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to buy that. Now this is, like I was saying, our engine was kind of, kind of wearing out a little bit in the last race. Um, I, we aren't even a third of the way through the season though. So I really don't want to change it yet. And I feel like Monaco, you don't really need a lot of speed. So I feel like we're probably fine to run with this for now. Let's take a look at our R&D tree here, see what they're recommending. Whew, looks like our uh, our durability part failed. We've got a 0% failure chance now, so that's exciting. Let's go ahead and uh, and develop that. Looks like pretty pretty much everything else. I mean, our chassis department has, has already got something in development, so we're not going to be able to do anything there. This is already in development, so we can't do anything here. 
So we're we're not gonna be able to upgrade anything else. So uh, man, dude, we just we gotta make more money. We gotta we gotta expand these departments. We gotta get more time, get better scientists, that sort of thing. But uh, they're all doing their best with what we're giving them. Unfortunately, it's just kind of a balancing act. Current gearbox has fulfilled its requirement to complete six races. A new gearbox can be fitted without triggering a penalty. Do you want to fit a new gearbox now? Sure thing. Okay, the track is green right now, so take a few laps to get the tires up to temperature. Try and feel your way around. Will do. I appreciate you, Jeff. Here we go, fellas. Take those tire blankets off. We're pulling out of the garage. It's time to, uh, to hit the streets of Monaco, baby. Here we go. So like I said, this is... Definitely one of the most important parts of this video. The practice and the qualifying, dude. Like we we've just we've we've gotta get this down. We've gotta be confident, we've gotta be comfortable, and we've gotta put up a good time. Our qualifying time is going to uh to pretty much dictate how we're gonna do in the rest of the race weekend. So uh so hopefully we can do a pretty good job. Hopefully we can can get her done. Hopefully we can kinda come to terms and learn to, to wrestle this beast that is Monaco, one of the slowest turns, I think the slowest turn on the circuit right there. This is just insanity, dude. Just absolute pure insanity. Like the first part of this is, is honestly kind of boring. And then you get through here, you go through this tunnel and you're flat out all the way through. And you come down through here and you've got these quick turns and you've got to be right on top of your game. Do that. Oh, that's a wall. Yep, that was a wall. So yeah, we, we don't we don't want to be doing that in the race. Okay. Uh, our our front wing looks great. You've taken some minor damage. Uh, I'm not cutting corners. No, it's fine. That, there's our first lap. We we did a fantastic job. We have nothing to work on. I'm ready to race. This is so hard, dude. Like honestly, Monaco is is it's just so technical. Everything's so tight. There is there is zero zero room for error at all. If, if you go an inch out of line, you are scraping your front wing all over the side of these these barricades here. Holy cow. Um, we're still in our, our first practice program here. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do as best as I can. I've, I've just being honest with you guys, I've got a feeling this is going to be a, a fairly, fairly rough episode. I'm going to try my best. But it's uh, it's just it's it's not easy, dude. It is it is so technical. Oh, I can't imagine for like a, a driver new on the circuit, like their their first time, their first time racing Monaco would be absolutely terrifying. Missed that gate there. That's fine. Well, that's unfortunate. That corner is super technical because you got to break and turn and and set yourself up the whole time this section you go straight through without without breaking I just we're gonna be either wrecked on the side of the road or we're gonna be slow I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys when it rains it pours literally we're here at the end of practice and it's about to start raining we've estimated the times our closest rivals will be doing so that's what we need to beat so luckily we are in our last practice program here. We're about done. This is what I always say for last. Quali Sim is basically qualifying. and It'll just tell you about where you're projected to be. I kind of use it as like a, a baseline for qualifying. Obviously qualifying, we're gonna, we're gonna push a little bit harder, but this is kind of like our last little go around the track to see what we can do. But uh, yeah, dude, it's like, this game's like, oh, hey, look, this guy's struggling. This is the, the toughest track in the game, or at least one of them. Let's, let's go ahead and make it rain on him. Although I, I think we should be done with our lap before it starts uh, starts raining. So anyway, man, it's going to be an interesting one. Honestly, I'm going to consider it a win if we if we make it across the finish line in this race. So I guess we'll see what happens. I'm not going to show you guys this whole lap. Obviously, we're going to want to save that for uh, for qualifying. I just missed my apex right there. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see how it goes, dude. I mean, it's, it's definitely gotten better than where we started. But it's... Uh, it's far from ideal. So this is kind of funny. I saw a comment in yesterday's episode and it was something along the lines of like, Trev, don't forget to change your car setup for every race. Like you guys know me too well. Sometimes I'm focusing on everything else that's happening. Ideally, we'd be setting our car up before practice so we can practice with the actual setup we're going to be using in quali and in the race. And uh, we we didn't. So I'm, I'm going to run through our setup here. So we've got 10 and 11 on aerodynamics, which is a big difference from our last uh, our last episode. We're going to go 50 and then 65 percent 
on our, our transmission. This is what our suspension geometry is looking like. Suspension is, is going to be weird. We've got a 115445. 4, 5. Brakes, we're going to be going 90 and then 54. Last but not least, for our tires, we're going to let a little bit of air out here. So we're going to go 22.6 in the front, and then we're going to go with 20.7 in the rear well, things didn't really go your way today let's have your take uh <laughs> you left some she's roasting us the track. were you struggling for grip um it's nothing that won't buff out ma'am <laughs> yikes how do you feel the competition Rubbing is racing is baby this season uh the competition it's been great all the drivers are at their best it's not as close as i like it i love a challenge i mean i'm not i'm not gonna be that cocky pompous a-hole when we haven't really even done that much yet i like being a fiery dude but time. like we we can't really back it up like we're our our best finish has been p3 and and that's i mean other than that we're in like the midfield so we're not i'm not gonna say that the competition's not good i'm excited but I'm also a bit nervous. This this needs to be our best lap of the day right here. We absolutely need to show out here. Whew. So we're starting off P8, which isn't bad if we can hold that. I just doubt we're gonna be able to hold that. Ooh. Okay, getting a little bit loose there. Back into P21, we're gonna be fine, dude. Whatever happens, happens. We just, we just gotta roll with it, dude. I mean, I... Like I said, I, I knew this is I knew this was going to be a bit of an issue for us today. I knew Monaco was was going to be a tough one for us. Starting in the back may even be kind of exciting, to be honest. Who knows? Technically, we're not in the back. What are we at, a Latifi here? Whew. Coming through here, we're in P21. Cutting that one really close, and I actually feel like we did all right right there. Got to be careful about that. Keep speed all the way through here. Brake. Try to cut that close over the curb. Got to break through here. Come on, Trev. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Get around here. Woo! Ah, uh, looks like we're going to have a P18 start. Oh, shoot. I, th I, th I was going to say, I thought it took over for us at the end. I don't want to have any crazy body damage. Right after qualifying. I mean, it's not the worst thing that we've ever had. It's the slow corners on this track that get me. I, I think that's where we kind of really, really slow down. Especially the, the, the roundabout one, the super slow one. I think it's the slowest corner in all of F1. Uh, and then the, the last couple of corners before like the start finish straight. It, it, they're just, I, I don't know, dude. They're, they're kind of tough. It, it's kind of tough and it's obviously really important because they set you up for some some huge straight line speeds but uh all right so p p18 got kimi in front of us kevin magnuson behind us george russell louis back here what's up louis haven't seen you in a minute but uh all right let's i mean let's let's rock with it i truthfully i wish it was a little bit better i, I thought we were going to be able to do a little bit better but um that's all right not everything's going to go to plan you know what i mean carlos is he's beating us We've got three races left, and he's he's beaten us by a couple of points, so we, we really need to step our game up. Beautiful Monaco, Proper man. road race, and in the true meaning of the word, that was how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. <clears throat> There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two mile long circuit to Monaco. The cars climb around 40 meters up through Beau Rivage, onto the casino, and then descending down towards the harbor through sector two. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners here, seven to the left and 11 to the right. There's one single DRS zone as well, so don't expect that to make overtaking any easier today. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. I don't know that we're going to gain eight positions to be able to get in the points, but uh, I'm, I'm going to give it my all. Like I said, dude, I, I seriously, I think finishing this race is going to be an accomplishment in and of itself. Especially if we can, if we can finish it with the original front wing, that would be, that would be pretty exciting. A little bit of a, a burnout there from him. Woo! All right. Bit of a bit of a collision there off the start. He's kind of forcing us into the uh, into the wall a little bit. Kvyat, I see you, bro. Dirty little racer. Ooh. 
Gave him a little tap back there. A little, little tap back for the clap back. Woo. Stay on the inside, Trev. I didn't think that was going to be a passing opportunity, but maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Got our overtake mode on. Going to come around through here. Just take it back off, see what we can do about this corner. I mean, that, that first start, wasn't uh, it wasn't pretty. But I guess we gained a couple of positions. Now I think this is going to be our hardest thing, is just keeping up with these guys. Dude, this section is, is so gnarly. Whew. We're okay. Kind of caught back up to him. Dude, that, that part right there, the little part that juts out, that's what I was worried about in qualifying. I'm going to go overtake mode again here. Got on it a little bit late, to be honest, but that's all right. That part spun me out so many times in qualifying overtake mode. All right, take it off. Giovinazzi is next on the list. Now, one thing we've we've changed from the uh, the last the last episode is I did. Ooh, we took that a little bit too close. I did put on our our we we control the the fuel mixture. That's something that that we definitely should have been doing more recently. I'm gonna go overtake and rich here maybe not a, a good idea I, I don't know monaco isn't really the the track that we want to do that in though i don't think we probably don't really need to mess with our fuel mixture we're probably just gonna kind of kind of chill where we're at I, I think we got lucky off the start with our positioning that was not my skill whatsoever i don't know that we're going to be able to pass anyone unless we put it in overtake mode and rich fuel mix right here but we don't have DRS, so there's no way we're going to get around this dude, right? DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Yeah, see, we just we just burned through everything there, and we, we weren't even close to, to passing him. So, I, dude, it's it's going to be tough. Even with DRS, passes through there are, are most likely not going to happen. I mean, it, you never really know. You never really know, so we'll, we'll see. I don't know what we just caught right there. I don't know if it was our rear end or what. Got to be careful about sticking our front end in their rear end like that right there. Got to be really careful about it. I'm thinking, I mean, really, we just probably want to go overtake mode on these straights. So we've got wear on our engine. We know that from the last episode. We decided not to change it here for Monaco. Hopefully that doesn't end up biting us in the butt. Looks like Kvyat's still on our butt back there. We're just gonna we're just gonna try to try to race the best we possibly can, dude. This this is just insanity. This this is this is such a ridiculous ridiculous course. Got a yellow flag. Back to a green flag. I'm not sure what uh, what happened. I feel like we had a a pretty good section through back there, dude. This is just so insane that these cars with nearly a thousand horsepower are just crawling through that corner. Okay, some information on Perez. It looks like the problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. Virtual safety car deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Virtual Shoot. safety car is deployed. But we still, we still gotta, gotta keep it up. Here we go, baby, come on. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too far. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. I'm just trying to balance it on the line here, man. You gotta, you gotta let me, let me work, baby. Lead me to it, lead me to it, Bono, lead me to it. Your safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Green flag, green flag, baby. I actually feel like we may have uh, we may have gained a little bit of a little bit of ground there. You'll be on the mediums. All right, so we're gonna be pitting soon. Little update here. It's lap five out of twenty. Not a lot has changed. We're just kind of racing and uh, and doing our thing. Ooh, taking that one a bit wide, but we're gonna be fine. Bring it around here. We can work with it. I mean, the more the more I race around it, I do feel like I'm I'm starting to, to get to know the track a bit more. I guess that's a sign we probably could have could have practiced a bit more, but it's uh I don't know, dude. It's it's kind of fun to to learn it as the race goes on. <laughs> okay, we're reaching a danger point with the wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. AKA, don't use your ERS and slow things down here, Trev. 
We probably could have could have changed out our components before this race, to be honest. But uh, I mean, it, it was Monaco, and I got a little bit sideways there. It was Monaco. Oh my gosh, the drifts! I kind of knew Monaco was going to be a bit of a struggle for us, so I, I felt like if we if we were going to have a throwaway race to kind of set us up for a, a better rest of the season and have newer components for the rest of the season, then Monaco was was probably just the one to do that. So. I mean, I wouldn't be upset with a P13. It wouldn't it wouldn't match the rest of our performance from this year, but I also feel like it wouldn't be the worst thing that's ever happened to us. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll we'll get a nice little undercut on a couple of guys. If we could get up into the points, I would lose my mind. I just I don't I don't foresee that happening, so I don't want to set those expectations. Engine is showing small signs of wear. Power output will be down. I understand that, Jeff. You've told me that a million times. Okay, we kind of cut that corner a little bit right there. I'm not going to lie, but hey, we saved it. I like all of our drifting we've got going on. Somebody somebody, get me a Fast and the Furious contract. But, uh... Yeah, Jeff, you're... Window open. Let's box this lap. All right, sounds good to me. You're not you're not helping with your whole, oh, your, your power's down, Trev, your power's down. I realize that, man. I'm just trying to try to make the most out of a, a not so great situation, and that's so. Like like I mentioned to you guys, we're uh, we're using the the custom fuel mixes now. I think that's part of our problem is that we weren't custom mixing that. Like sometimes you should have it on the medium or the low mixture. I think that's normal and low, but uh, I, I think we were running. I mean, we're pitting this lap, so why would I need to take care of them? I think we've been been running on the, the high fuel mix for a while now. And uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it was supposed to be being managed by the computer. I'm not sure why it would have screwed us over. But I, I, I think we just did way too much uh, way too much wear and tear on the engine the last couple episodes. So we... Oop, that's, that's a rear wheel into that. Okay. We're in the pits. So obviously we're just we're, we're gonna have to manage that better going forward. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we get a, a good pit stop here. Our ERS usage is down to about 55, but we can't really use that. 1.8. We almost almost got out in front of Giovinazzi here. Is that a uh, is that a world record? Well, I feel like 1.8 has to be really, really good. Looks like we might, we might actually be able to keep some pace with Giovinazzi here. I don't know what's, what's going on with this. Let's not, let's not run into him though. We want to keep it as close as possible, but also not, uh, not cause any problems. I remember in the last game, our last series of this last year, we had a, a lot of a bump and grind in that corner, and we ended up losing a wing. This is the the craziest corner dude you come through here and you're just slamming on the brakes and running through here and everything's just so close to the wheels the whole time like i i i love ooh, that's a little bit of the wall there i love and absolutely hate this track to be honest it's it's one of the most fun tracks that we race on i just i'm not good at it because it's so technical yep there's another right rear hit got to be careful about that trev it's just like, I'm not good at it, but I really, really, really enjoy it. So, uh... Looks like we're about, uh... About halfway done with this race. Ten down, ten to go. Let's get it. I guess really it's it's nine down, eleven to go, right? Because we're on lap ten. Not not quite there yet. I'm trying to catch Giovinazzi here. I just, I don't... It, it feels impossible. That was a new PB right there. All three sectors green, so you love to see that. But he's uh, he's showing his his prowess up there in front of us. We are still not quite catching up to him. That's that's good to know though. Like we we are getting quicker throughout as we're playing this though. So that that means we're learning. We're gonna do better. Who knows if we end up doing a season two of this series. Maybe we'll be able to come back to Monaco and uh, and slay out. You know what I mean? Maybe. Dude, if you could if you could stop bringing that up because you're stressing me out. I'm gonna try using the rich mix in the straights. Now, technically, they say that we're supposed to lay off our engine and stuff here, but I'm I'm gonna see if we use it. In, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm gonna use overtake mode too. Screw screw Jeff. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But I'm gonna see if uh, if we use rich through the straights and then use our overtake mode on that that front start stretch. 
uh, start finish stretch is, is the word I was looking for, not front start. I'm gonna see if we can maybe start to catch this dude. I don't really want to go down without trying, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't want to blow our engine up, but if we're gonna be changing all the components anyway, why not, uh, why not take her for a little spin, you know what I mean? Mama always told me to go down swinging, baby, here we go. Back up to Rich Mix here, only 1.5 seconds. Ooh, we're getting a little bit squirrely there, Trev. Watch that wall. Try to catch him. Ooh, okay, set up a personal best middle, middle sector there. Back into overtake mode with the rich mix. We got plus 0.4 laps. We are starting to catch up to him a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Strong, but be aware your tires need to go the distance. Jeff, why are you always the bearer of bad news? Come on, brother. The turbocharger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. Well, our turbo's going bad. That's fine. That's all in a day's work. That just means we're driving it hard enough, right? Just kidding. I don't think that's actually what that means, but... Whew, we got it within 1.7 here. I don't I don't think it's I don't I don't think we have enough juice in the in the tank, man. We're running out of fuel mix and we've our ERS is down to 11%. I mean, we did start to make a, a bit of a cut into that lead there, but I just I don't I don't think it's going to end up being enough. We're we're still 2 seconds behind him. I was hoping we were going to be able to get within DRS range and that was I mean, that was going to be like our only chance of of actually doing something here, but not quite. Kvyat's still in our back. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking we just kinda, kinda ride this out and, and take the P13. Four laps of fuel, we've got an extra quarter of a lap in our reserves in case we need it, if we need to defend, and I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm good with this. So apparently I'm, I'm not very good on, on our fuel savings here. We actually, we're, we're gonna run out of fuel if we don't run lean for a little bit, which is, is not really what you want to see. Now we can go back up to standard. We've got plus 0.02 laps. Can you imagine if we ran out of fuel on the last lap? Dude, let's, let's go back to lean here. Let's run on lean through this section. We can turn it up to, to standard when we go through the passing zone, and then we'll turn it back down. I just want to make sure Kvyat doesn't get around us. Don't stick your rear wheel into that wall, Trev. You've done it enough times today. Here we go. So we can go up to standard. I'm going to put our, our overtake button on to really make sure he can't get us. We're almost almost hitting those those signs as they come out. Sorry, I was messing with the, the thing there. It's kind of hard to to drive and mess with the, the MFD. But um, yeah, it looks, I mean, we got about a tenth of a lap left now. We, we probably just kind of want to stay in this setting. You guys know we had about a quarter of a lap extra. We ended up burning through that, and I didn't I didn't even change any of the modes or anything. Overtake button and, and standard mix here. Let's make sure we get through this tunnel without being passed. Back on lean, overtake off. Last couple of corners. I mean, we can we can be pretty safe about this. This isn't really gonna be a, a passing opportunity for him, so let's just kinda let's just kinda do our thing, baby. Come around through here. Woo, he's on us. But there's no way he's going to be able to pass us as long as we don't mess this up. Kind of ran a bit wide right there. We're good. Overtake mode. Full beans on the gas. Rich mix. And that's going to be a P13. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. I mean, it's not bad. I Honestly, I we got driver of the day. That's exciting. I knew this was going to be a challenging one. And I knew it was going to be dictated by our, our qualifying. Sebastian up there on the podium. You love to see that. But yeah, dude, I just, I, I knew, I knew that we were going to have trouble if we didn't have good qualifying. And I feel like with what we had, we did the best we could. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. We are definitely going to get some new unis, which is going to be exciting. Uh, looks like we, ooh, sponsor, ooh, renewing sponsors. I'm going to manage them. And we're... We're going to keep Pacifico, but we're going to we're going to go into new new secondary sponsors that are going to end up paying us out more. Getting 70 laps per weekend was just kind of a tall order. So uh, we're going to manage all this tomorrow. Hope you guys are excited for that. Drop a like if you are subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you guys later.